This is an emergency broadcast. If you have MetaMask, then you need to listen up. Yesterday or the day before, MetaMask or Consensus, the people that own MetaMask, announced that they will be officially collecting IP addresses. Everyone's IP address that uses MetaMask. Now, why should you care? That means effectively they can identify you and they know exactly what you're doing at all times. This defeats the point of decentralization. So how do I actually get around so that MetaMask will not collect my IP address and all of this without using a VPN? So welcome to CryptoCurrent. I am your host, CryptoRig. And today we're going to be discussing how to remove Infura RPC node and add an alternative node so that you don't get tracked. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So this is the, uh, the news. Consensus says it will collect IP addresses of MetaMask users via Infura. Now, before you get infuriated, what is Infura? Well, Infura is just a group of nodes. Uh, it's a company, effectively, and it does a lot of other things. Um, but pretty much, it's the Ethereum nodes that you interact with when you're conducting uh, your Ethereum mainnet. Okay, so it's 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 pretty much just a group of nodes that will interact with your uh, MetaMask. And as you can see, I believe it's a, a Chinese or Japanese company. Uh, so it's it's not a it's a centralized entity. Now. To change away from Infura, these are the steps that you need to take. So the first step is you go at the top and where it says Ethereum mainnet, you essentially click it. And then you can go down and add network as if you're adding a custom RPC network, just like you would with uh, uh, Matic or, or whatever other you know chain that you're adding. It's as if you're adding a brand new chain. So then when you actually get to adding the network manually, you put in Ethereum uh, uh, as the name, but it doesn't really matter what name you put, the new Ethereum, let's call it Ethereum new. Now, for the RPC URL, you put the HTTPS two forward slash ETH dash RPC dot gateway dot pocked dot network. So this is the new node, so we're, we're Changing from the old nodes, we're going to the new. So before this, if you actually looked at your original Ethereum, it will say something like ETH, blah, 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 Infura. And you'll actually see Infura where it says RPC URL. But you don't want Infura. You, you don't want those nodes that they're going to be tracking. You want nodes, you know, some other person's Ethereum nodes that they can't track. So, and what's poked, don't worry, I'll explain it, but long story short, it's just a other node. It's another net, it's another node. The chain ID, you put one. The number one, Ethereum symbol, you put ETH, and the block explorer, you put etherscan.io. So HTTPS, two forward slashes, etherscan.io, okay? So it's still doing everything normally. It's still using Etherscan as, you know, the block explorer. It's still using the same symbol, same, more or less same name. The only thing that's changing is the node, the RPC, right? And there's many of them. There's not just one Ethereum node out there. So if you don't uh, trust Poked, and by the, by the way, everyone's using it, and, I've, you know, hypothetically, I used it, it's quite safe. You can actually go to a website called chainlist.org and it actually gives you a list of alternative nodes that you can actually plug in. So um, I know some people are using this one, the alchemy.com one. Some people are using uh, uh, eth-mainnet, you know, that one. doesn't really matter what you pick, but I mean, this one is, seems to be the most easiest, you know, eth RPC gateway poked. And poked, as I mentioned, is a separate... Uh, node uh, that's decentralized. It's not centralized. That won't collect your IP address. So uh, now the question is, how do you actually remove the old settings? So 
I actually hypothetically again tried to do this, but it wouldn't actually let me delete the old one. So we have ETH mainnet and it says here in Fura, uh, I actually saw a lock sign uh, and I wasn't able to actually alter the original Ethereum mainnet one, the old one. And I wasn't able to change the RPC URL and I wasn't possibly able to delete it. Now, this is where I want the crypto links to comment below. How do you actually get rid of the old Ethereum mainnet? And more importantly, even if we're using the new network, does the old one still pick up IP signals? Or is it only when you actually use and make transactions from the new one? And if presumably if you're using the new one, then the old one won't be sending out any signals. Uh, now, you will find that once you open your new Ethereum uh, uh, network, you will see all your uh, assets appear normally, okay, in exact amounts, nothing's lost, everything appears as normally, um, and transactions should be fine. So remember, everything stays the same. So, as I mentioned before, uh, and it's no surprise to any one of you, that who owns consensus who owns metamask who owns all of ethereum critical infrastructure well it's obviously jp morgan and it's uh, stated here very publicly that jp morgan owns critical ethereum infrastructure and that's why the whole ethgate scenario happened and i refer you to the quote that i always tell my crypto links every single time you see companies i see subsidiaries stop looking at these companies right and just saying oh they're just a separate company and a consensus is separate in furious can a separate metamask is a separate no they are not companies they are subsidiaries you have to find that ultimately who has owned who owns all this stuff who who has merged and acquired all this stuff who consolidated on all these uh, you know infrastructure and then you will find out whether it's a good entity or a bad entity and act accordingly and because JP Morgan are snakes and consensus are snakes and metamasks are snakes I would highly recommend you make these changes they literally take one minute barely anything you know it's safe blah 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 you know it's better to be safe than sorry and don't let these uh, banker snakes try and uh, you know ruin decentralization for you so there you go guys thanks for tuning in and watching uh, uh, do check out uh, other videos like comment and subscribe so uh, as I mentioned uh, stay safe hold the coins we're all gonna make it in the end together let us surf and ride through the Kali Yuga this Kali Yuga of snakes and uh, as always have a good day.